Yesterday when I was riding my bike, I listened to a really super interesting podcast. It was the Tim Ferriss show and he had like a two hour talk with a guy named Derek Sivers who was a musician and then became an entrepreneur and a writer and that interview was so good. It was packed with really a lot of gems and really made me think about it a lot. One of the key insights there it was that he said that if you want to succeed in, in an unknown, kind of uncertain future, then you should be choosing the, the past with most options, kind of the past that would let you change the plan all the time. And I really, I really connected with that. Anyway, towards the two hour interview, he kind of said that you can reach out to him on email if you want, because he has time to read his emails. Uh, and today I thought, hey, why don't I just write him kind of a thank you note that I listened to his podcast and I took a lot of it and just thank you for the awesome advice and kind of introduce myself. And then something happened. All right, so I Googled Derek Sivers, went into his website, and that's his website. This awesome, super talented guy, his website looks like this. And, you know, I'm a designer, so for me, this is kind of horrible. And I know probably why it's like this, because he probably didn't use a platform and he hand-coded everything himself and he didn't pay attention or, I don't know, maybe he doesn't know, you know, kind of design skills or he doesn't care about beauty or functionality or whatever. So I just told myself, hey, instead of just saying like, hey, thank you, why don't I kind of give him a gift and redesign his, his website? So obviously I don't have a lot of time, but I think I can put in like one or two hour in Webflow and really super quickly redesign the main pages of his website. He's got like, I don't know, hundreds of pages, some kind of a CMS here, but I can do the main pages and like super, super quickly. And I, I actually think it will be like a big improvement and then I can just export the code and send it over to him as a gift. I think it would be nice kind of a way to say thank you for the awesome advice that he shared. So it is 11 o'clock right now in the morning. I'm going to try and spend one or two hour max on this redesign and see how that goes. about 70% there but I got too hungry to work so I'm gonna grab a little lunch break and then continue Alright, so it is 1.30 now, which means minus the 30 minutes lunch break. I've spent two hours on this project. I want to show you what I did and kind of explained what I was trying to do. But basically, I want you to understand that I tried to do something really simple and pretty close to what Derek has right now, because if it was too complex and too much hassle to convert to my new design, since he has like a gazillion pages and links, he's not going to do that. So I try to make it really simple and perhaps he can only take the structure or some CSS styles to improve his current website. So this is what I've designed and I will show you kind of before and after and why I tried to do everything. Um, so basically what Derek has right now, this is the front page and there's no simple way to quickly know where you have arrived and that's why I've created this hero section with little text so you can quickly glance and understand where you at and then 
uh, continue to the rest of the content. The second thing that bothered me when I was scrolling this is there was no quick navigation and when you're inside a page, uh, still there was no navigation and you couldn't even understand what type of content there was on this website. Um, so I kind of divided it into his blog, book notes and contacts and kind of made that when you go into a deeper page, this kind of a header compresses into a, a smaller header that still you can quickly navigate to the blog, book notes and contacts um, to make this kind of like much easier to consume. So the second thing that I was trying to do is kind of improve the way that the lists are presented. Uh, right now, all the lists are just text links and I think it's kind of boring to consume it like this and maybe it will be easier uh, to kind of jump from, from content to content, from the articles or projects or, but I kind of wanted to make it generic so he can use it uh, for any type of, of content that he has here. Um, let's see, book notes is something that uh, he has. Let me see how that looks here. Um, so again, there's the cover and then some of his title and even ratings and stuff like that. But it, because it's just plain text, it's pretty hard to, when you scroll down this long list, to understand uh, the rating and stuff like that. So I kind of transformed it into kind of like a star and I simply use kind of ASCII star so you can choose an empty star or a full star to make it really much more glanceable you know uh, so you can see oh this is a good book and those small details such as a date and ISBN number I kind of shrink them to make them less important so they wouldn't confuse you and you can focus on the content that really matters to you. So overall, for a two-hour project, I think this is quite a nice improvement. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to do that if Webflow wasn't such a great tool that I could really, really do this fast. Usually, I do design and sketch and then move it to Webflow, but this one, just because it was a simple redesign and I kind of knew what I was going for, I just went on and did the whole thing in, straight into Webflow. And as you can see, it was like super quick to do that. Uh, now I'm going to export the code, send this over to him and hope he likes it and perhaps even uses it. For me, it's time to go back to my normal job. Got to do some fixes on Prospero, customer support before I'm going out to pick Tommy from the kindergarten. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you tomorrow.